the cost of a distillery um, r ranges enormously, even for the same same scale. So, uh, a uh, let's say, let's do this in gallons. A 40 gallon still from Germany might cost you fifty thousand um, dollars, but I can spend a quarter of that if I buy a product from Asia, for instance. What's better? Uh, I think that uh, apart from the equipment, there are costs that I would advise you don't skimp on, and the main one I think is legal advice. Make sure you've got everything lined up legally because. If you get tied up, you can have a, a great still or great distillery, and you can't use it, at least not legally. Um, there are a lot of organizations out there now that can, can help with advice and so forth. The American Distilling Institute, for instance. Um, and equipment can be really simple. Um, we've got a, in my lab, I've got a, a, a 10 gallon still, cost me less than $3,000. It's not gonna get you very far, but if you have another one, then you double your capacity and so on. So it, it can be done relatively cheaply. It does come back though, the legal stuff will uh, cut you off at the knees if, if you don't get that right. One thing that I come across quite a lot is that uh, new distillers want their own bottle design. And uh, a bottle mold can cost anywhere between twenty and seventy thousand dollars. So you've got to be making a lot of bottles to make that worthwhile. And a trick I learned from a, a, um, a, bot a, a glass bottle manufacturer is they have a lot of prototypes that have uh, just never been taken up by the market. So it's worth tapping them up for uh, potential unique bottles without you having to pay for the bottle mark. And of course marketing is a is, is, is a substantial expense. There, I have heard consultants say that you need $4 million to start up a distillery. Um, I would say you can, uh, you can shoestring it if you want to. You can get a relatively low cost still. If you want to make vodka, it'll cost you more. If you want to make whiskey, you can do something quite quickly and, and easily, at least from the distilling point of view. So yeah, it's, it's horses for courses. I, I think $4 million is, is too much. It's great if you've got it, but not everyone has four million just lying around. One of the, uh, one area I think would be worth exploring is a crowdfunding. And I've not seen it so much in distilling, but certainly breweries like BrewDog have, have made quite a lot of mileage out of, out of crowdfunding. But you need a compelling story. So it comes back to what the provenance of your company and your products are as to whether that would work or not.